Welcome to the EC CAD training for duct. This will be exercise one, your fabrication options within EC CAD in AutoCAD MEP. You can access your options screen two ways by either just going to the command line and typing in, typing in OP for options and enter. That will pop up your options screen or you can go to the big red A up here and you can, you can have a pull down on the big red A by just coming here and selecting options here. Either way gets you to the same spot. You want to be sure you're on the EC Tools tab, and there's quite a bit uh, in this option screen. First of all, this is the string to your database, your part manager database. This is your license, so if you're using a subscription license, you're always going to have it set to combo. You can uh, have the auto load checked if you want, and that will load automatically the last catalog used whenever you fire up AutoCAD MEP EC CAD. Enable spool drawing revisions does just that. It allows you to make changes in the model and then it'll give you a revision number on your spool. EC tool tips is a way of setting up your uh, flyby for your mouse so that when you hover over a part, a fitting, a piece of duct, you can get the information you want in the hover over. Then you have highlight tags on duct fitting mode mouse over again to just show your tags on your mouse over. This will break your duct into your fabricatable sections. Auto tagging will tag your duct based on your tags that you have set up in your auto tag manager. Your smart connector override will allow you to change a connector of a full length piece of duct without it changing the length. It will keep it classified as a full length or coil line piece. Uh, then you have pick off options. Here is where your pickoff route pass. This is where it's going to store your pickoffs. And here with these two work with the project navigator. If you move on down the options screen, okay, you can have it uh, come on down here past the pipe options, and we're going to go down here to duct spool options. So here is pointing where your duct spool template lives. So you can set that up. Here's where it's storing your duct spools. Again, these two have to do with project navigator. Here you can also have where do you store your total station options, your root path on it for where the files are stored, again, in the Project Navigator. Here is where you select the download to the uh, plasma tables. You can come in here and you can have it download to Trimble Fab Shop, to a third-party export. And we also have the Revit feature enabled, which the Revit feature allows us to import Revit files and assign them to our specifications as they're imported from Revit. And this will all be covered in later sections of this. And that basically is the uh, EC Tools tab. You do have a pointer here for your tags drawing. So this is going to point to your schedules and tags drawing. This is going to point to your total station drawings. So these come set up out of the box and are ready to go. And that's how you set up your EC Tools tab. We hope you enjoyed this video. See what's next in our product tips playlist or visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.